This is a demo of Red Hat Atomic Enterprise Platform. You'll see some of its salient features and how it can be used to containerize Oracle databases and applications. Red Hat brings containers to the enterprise through Red Hat Atomic, a family of infrastructure technologies that are optimized to securely and consistently run containers at scale across a distributed environment. Red Hat Atomic offers a balanced approach to combining technological innovation with enterprise security and reliability and can ensure that only the intended application and no malicious code runs inside the container. Red Hat Atomic Enterprise Platform is an integrated infrastructure solution powered by Red Hat Atom, uh, Enterprise Linux that is designed to run, orchestrate, and scale container-based applications and services, giving your applications additional resiliency and elasticity. Cockpit provides a dashboard that offers a simple point-and-click interface into the Kubernetes cluster and provides host updates and information on real-time resource consumption. In this demo, we have two database containers and two application containers. The containers are launched using Kubernetes from custom container images that are built using certified RHEL 7 image. We will also see how Cockpit can be used to provide a management interface to monitor active containers and observe changes in the system utilization as these containers perform their operation. So here on this host, I have two database containers already running. And here's a, a cockpit interface that shows you the cluster information. You can look at the containers running on it, their IP addresses, you can open a shell into it. And the topology actually shows you, in this cluster I have a single host, but it shows you the host information and the two database containers that are running on it. So one of the advantages of using Kubernetes is you can customize how your containers run. So by creating a manifest file, so here's an example of one, you can dictate where these uh, containers will be launched and what application to run when they're created. So I'm going to create a container using this manifest file. And as you can see, uh, the containers are almost uh, created almost instantly. So if you need more compute in your environment, you can just launch it right away and then uh, have it participating in the cluster. And as soon as I kicked it off, the cockpit also provides a nice uh, window into the system performance like I man uh, mentioned earlier. And you can see the disk IO, you can see network IO, uh, and CPU activity going on on the host. In this case, we have one host, and this can be monitored using Cockpit. I'll just uh, add one more container to this environment. Uh, this container is connecting to my second database uh, uh, container. So you can, once you create an application container, you can have it uh, run various applications, connect to different backend systems. So it gives you a lot of flexibility and uh, uh, if you run it in a cluster, it gives you high availability and reliability as well. So here's the second container. Uh, you can see it pops up immediately on our topology screen, and uh, the dashboard also shows you the added CPU activity uh, when the second container starts. Uh, so uh, as you can see, Kubernetes offers you so much flexibility to create uh, container images and uh, deploy them with various configuration, and you can uh, manage them using uh, Cockpit. So it's a, it's a great uh, framework to you know move from a single host developer platform to a clustered uh, framework, giving you all the resiliency and elasticity. You can deploy your traditional apps or you can move third party ISVs uh, into this multi-host clustered environment. So that concludes this demo. Hope you uh, found this information useful. If you have any other questions, please contact your Red Hat rep. Thank you very much for watching.